Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix the Facebook two-factor authentication problem. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to fix this problem, the two-factor authentication problem with Facebook. So step number one is to open the Facebook app and go to login. Chances are this is where you're going to have issues, right? So put in your password and click login and chances are this is the screen that pops up. It says go to your authentication app. Enter the six-digit code for this account using an authentication app and it's just like, what the heck is going on? This is super annoying, Facebook. I don't wanna do this Google Authenticator. It's super annoying. And I'm gonna show you a workaround on how to fix this problem. And again, you can go and use the Google Authenticator. I don't advise doing it. And then just scroll down a little farther in the page here. It asks you to put in a code. Chances are you don't have the code because you're not wanting to do that. But right here it says, try another way down below it should say this so click on try another way so then it's going to ask you to choose a way to confirm it's you essentially they want to figure out your identity because a lot of times hackers are trying to overwrite personal profiles and that's what hackers do Facebook needs to figure out it's you somehow, right? So you can use the authentication app. Um, like I said though, I'm not, I don't wanna do that. Most people don't. You can do a backup code if you have that saved. Chances are you don't have that saved though, right? So if you scroll down a little bit uh, uh, further to here, it says need another option. Click on this account recovery section right here. Then what it's gonna do is it's going to walk you through this next step. Other ways to confirm your account. And this process takes a few days, it's not guaranteed. But guys, if you follow these directions, it literally takes a couple hours because this is the easiest way. So what you have to do here is you have to click on submit a photo of your ID. And I know a bunch of people are probably gonna be freaking out right now. I don't want Facebook to have my personal ID. Like what the heck? And yes, this is what is happening. This is essentially really the only way Facebook has figured out to confirm your identity. And I even had this happen to my mom and she's like, I'm not putting my ID in there. And um, she went to go make a new Facebook and it asked her to put her ID in anyway. So it's just like, Facebook is making everyone do this no matter what. So click on submit a photo of your ID or a passport or your driver's license. Essentially, they just want a document to prove your identity. And it'll walk you through the steps on how to do this. You click next, enter your email address uh, uh, that's correlated to your account and then upload your ID. Click next, it'll ask you to log in, your Facebook information, and then you, you need to choose which type of ID you're going to upload. I personally did my driver's license because I'm here in the US and it's the easiest. You can do all of these other ones too. Marriage certificates, tribal identification, voter ID, family certificate, visa, et cetera, et cetera. It's gonna walk you through this, click the next button, and then all you have to do is hold your photo ID and then take a picture of it and then it's going to save it and it's gonna walk you through all these steps. Then it's gonna say, thank you for submitting your information and essentially this is how we fix this problem. And within a couple of hours, you should be approved and be able to log into your Facebook. Be on the alert for an email that says, hey, we've confirmed your identity in your Facebook account. This is how you solve or fix the problem with Facebook's two-factor authentication issue this is how you solve it. Hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions I can further help you and please consider subscribing.